Hey, what's going on, guys? This is James Loves Music, and I think I am, well, if Anthony Fantano is the internet's busiest music nerd, I'm the internet's clumsiest music nerd, because right before I was going to record this, I, uh, I, I accidentally spilled out all the batteries in the camera. So I had to put them back in. But we are here today to review Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Well, let's get into it. Chromatica is the sixth studio album by Lady Gaga. And this is a follow-up to her album Joanne, which came out in... Let me check. I'm very educated, you can tell. 2016, I was gonna say 2017, that would have been really bad. But it sees her returning to her more uh, pop, electro-pop sort of sound than her previous album. Uh, she, the previous album, Joanne, was more like weird, it had more rock tinge to it. Like, Lady Gaga's always been weird, but that's a, even a weird album for Lady Gaga. So that was also a deeply personal album. Now, the deeply personal themes carry over to this album, lyrically, but it mixes in like an older Lady Gaga sort of big pop dance room kind of feel with personal lyrics, and it, that's what works for this album. I don't think this album is as good as Joanne's by by any means, but it's still really good. Uh, the lead single, Stupid Love, as simple as it is lyrically, man, it's a song that makes you want to dance. Uh, other songs that I like on this are Rain On Me with Ariana Grande, uh, Alive, 911, Fun Tonight, Sour Candy, Enigma, oh, that song's good, Signed From Above with Elton John, gosh, that song is good. Like, have you ever wanted to hear Elton John on, like, a modern pop song you probably didn't but uh, it's better than you'd think it would be that's for sure and just wow uh, then Babylon the closing track there's these like very Madonna Vogue-esque sort of spoken word parts to them and the way she she compares well she like the wordplay with Babylon, like the city, and Babel on is just brilliant. Like, there are some brilliant lyrics on this album, like in songs like those, and then there's some not so brilliant lyrics, like like in Plastic Doll. Plastic Doll is probably my least favorite song on this album. It's just, I get what she's going for with that song and the meaning, but it just did not work for me with that, this type of album. So, I'm gonna give this album a four. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. And this is James O's Music. Like and subscribe. And yeah. See ya.